Uh, welcome to our webinar today. Uh, uh, Tracy's here and, and Sarah's here and I'm Eric. Uh, you know us. So uh, we, what we're trying to do though is, is really go give you a little more insight on our behind the scenes from what we just transpired at State Volleyball. Um, we're getting notifications all over the place here. But um, State Volleyball is a big week for us um, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, we try to um, cover our strive schools that have made it to a state of, state event um, similar to similar and yet different than other media companies. So um, kind of like a newspaper, but not really kind of like a radio, but not really kind of like a TV station, but not really. Um, so we, we've uh, that's why we call it new media, not um, existing media that's been around for a while. Right. Um, so Along with that, what we've uh, entered into this past year is new partnership with the NSAA. So it really allowed us to uh, kind of do some of the things that we were already doing and really expand them. And so hopefully as we go through this webinar, um, we can kind of explain why we did some of the stuff that you may have seen on our social media or with the NSAA and and how we how we did it and also how it can still be bigger and better because that's kind of we, we really kind of laid a good groundwork, I feel like, for what could be mm -hmm. uh, yet to come for, for all of this. So um, there's really five things that we did at State Volleyball that pertains to our partnership with the NSAA. Um, we did final score graphics for uh, the semifinals and the championship games. We did a hype uh, video that was for social media and a recap video that hopefully can go out today or, or tomorrow morning. Uh, that Ben is going to be putting together. We did in-venue intro videos uh, that played on the big screens before the championship matches. Uh, we also produced the live streams with uh, all of the uh, live streams for the NFHS network, which is their partnership with the NSAA as well. And then we also live streamed the post-game championship game uh, press conferences, which is something that is really cool that the NSAA started about three years ago, actually at state basketball and it has worked the last two years now at volleyball um, and it really gives the media a chance to kind of ask the winning coach and a player or two some questions and instead of that coach and that player getting asked the same question five times hey here's all of the media people that want to get that same quote in any way we can ask it once and they can answer it once and then everybody can kind of move on with their day so it's been a really cool thing that the nsa has provided and we live streamed it just so that it's kind of a kind of a raw copy really of uh, what goes down during those press conferences so mm -hmm. um then we had the strive side i'll let sarah talk about what we were trying to do strive wise yeah so on the strive side um we do our best to take lots of photos of teams that are playing. So win or lose, we want to highlight them specifically on Instagram and also Twitter. Um, so uploading pictures and tagging them, tagging the players, sometimes they have a volleyball account or a school account. So they see it and hopefully they'll share it on their page as well. Um, and that's pretty much what we do on the Strive side. But Eric talked a little bit about um, the broadcasting teams that's included. Um, and to do what they do best at the state level. Um, let's see, our internet connection is unstable. Okay, if, you, if we freeze or you can't hear us, um, there's a little chat option at the bottom of this. You can just send us a message. And also if you have any questions, oh. Oh, that's, that's in the dashboard. Okay. We'll, we'll try to answer that at the end there, Tracy, thank you. And um, before we continue to move on, I think another reason why we want to do this webinar, um, like, yeah, it's cool working with the NSAA or it's cool that this is what we do, but also like to be an example of what you guys can do at your home games. Um, obviously, like the post game streaming or whatever doesn't apply, but doing like photos for your um, for your social media and focusing on tagging people is really something that's easy to do and to incorporate um, to get more engagement on your social media and having students get pumped up about um, what you guys are doing as a whole. And these hype videos or these um, the in venue the in venue videos that we do like these are all things you can. Um, take back and do in your classroom. So um, we have a few photos here. So I'm going to share my screen. So give me one minute. This one, right? Um, yeah. Okay. And I want to 
want to click press it. Did you do? No. Okay. Um, so here we have some photos of some of our broadcasting teams. So these two kids in the red, and Eric jumping at any time if I say anything wrong, um, but they are from JCC, and we actually hired them for the semifinals at State Volleyball, and they did a great job. They did. Um, yeah, so they were, they were part of our part of this, the crew that um, we, we broadcast both courts simultaneously. So um, they actually had uh, had these three guys that were there. Um, we had some other people that were involved with the uh, announcing side of things too. But uh, uh, Philip and Sam, and as soon as I say that, I'm going to forget the third one's name. <laughs> Gabe, were all there. Um, and, and, did, and did a great job handling everything. Um, we did have some issues, so just know that when you are streaming your own events and you go, why is this always having an issue? We had plenty of issues at PBA with Wi-Fi that is fantastic, so it happens sometimes, and we kind of rolled with it, and those kids did a great job. Uh, the other photos um, that you see there, we actually had some, some schools that broadcasted their own first round game uh, from state uh, state volleyball, so we had Waverly, we had Broken Bow, Grand Island Central Catholic, Shickley, and Lincoln Lutheran, all that streamed in the first round, uh, streamed their own game at uh, at state volleyball. Those opportunities come back again during state basketball mm -hmm. uh, to stream in the first round, and um, you know it's another another opportunity, and it's a big stage. You know, it's a big stage for the for the team that's playing. It's also a big stage for the broadcasters too. I mean, you get to go to go to Lincoln and be part of the state atmosphere is, uh, is pretty unique. So right. um, I would recommend it for, for any school that uh, has a team that qualifies. Um, it, it, it's a fun, fun event and we try to make it as seamless as possible with uh, still using all of your kids and all of your same equipment that you do normally when you have Strive. Right, question for you, Eric. So since you hired these JCC students, um, like did they volunteer? Did you ask them because you knew they were talented at broadcasting, maybe Marcus? force them to like give us a little background on how they got to do that gig. Well, I don't think Marcus, Marcus forced them. Okay. Um, I did ask Marcus uh, to pass on to his kids. Would anybody be interested in helping at state volleyball? Because I had worked with all of them at the Mudecas volleyball tournament. So okay. um, I had gotten to work with them directly and knew that they were, they were good at what they were doing. So it was a matter of, Hey, let's, uh, Let's let's get them another opportunity on a big stage, and and uh, these these guys uh, came through with flying colors. So cool. it was really cool to see that. And um, for the semifinals, they did get paid, so that helps too. Right. Um, also, though, when when we started to talk about well, we're we're paying people for the semifinal stuff, that means they got they got to be on top of things, right? They got to know. Um, hopefully, that wasn't their first stream, and I know it wasn't because uh, right. I know the guys. Um, but that could be a, that could be a possibility for, for other schools, especially when we right. get to basketball, yeah. um, coming up in the winter. Good. Cool. Um, so this is just an example of the Instagram story that we did. So if you follow strive TV, you'll be able to find this. I made a highlight. It'll be in the highlight area. If you know what I'm talking about with Instagram, um, and can go through and watch some of the photos that we took and how we tried to share the story at state. Diller Odell beats Hardington Cedar Catholic in three. Um, that was the first round and then followed them all the way to the championship, which was really cool taking different photos um, and involving students as well. Um, what was I gonna say about that? Oh, the best part about the video is um, <laughs> the process of Ben and one of our students who created the intro videos that were on championship um, Saturday, which we'll show later on in this webinar. but. Definitely check out this Instagram story. It's really fun. And although we post like some cool photos, the best part is definitely like the authentic 4.30 a.m. Ben editing, Eric's taking the video. It's it's kind of a strive thing that we do and it's it's a classic. So. Like 800 people watch that. Yeah. And like 700 people had seen it by like 8 a.m. Like, yeah. man, you guys got nothing better to do than watch our Instagram. But that's cool. But that's yeah right. Um, yeah, and, and and it is, and 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 hopefully what what we do with those is it's uh, you know hopefully it's a little funny, and so we don't always try to be funny, um, but it really does show you the the amount of of work and the time that it takes to to do stuff like that and to make the make sure that the quality of the output is is where it should be. Right. Um, yeah, you got to stay up all night to do that. Cool. Um, and so. 
the best part for me as on the education side for state volleyball is where we can incorporate students, um, especially our academy students. So if you're familiar with our academy or just learning about it, the whole purpose of it is to give students real world experience who are passionate about videography, photography, writing, um, or broadcasting. And so this year um, at State Volleyball, we had these three, Lindsay, Dante, and Cassidy, who signed up to come, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park and did a fantastic job. Um, we also had students come from Grand Island Northwest who are class intercom and got to put their photography skills to the test and, um, uh, and post on their social media while they are live time. So, Another way of just using social media and prepping for an event. So this graphic went out the day before state to talk about or to communicate that we have academy students here and we got a lot of engagement with that. And I had another student call me up who was thinking about academy from Hastings named Jack and said, I want to come too. So that was um, just using social media and bringing those students there and, you know, just letting them improve their skills. Um, and it was a huge success. This isn't the first time we've done it, but the first year that we've had more people, mm -hmm. um, which was really cool. So here are some photos. So Dante on the left, um, he's from Adam Central. He's been with us for two years. He's actually doing a lot of cool stuff. He was at State Softball. He helped Ben edit these um, in-venue intro videos and was a big part in editing or um, some iPad work. Like we're gonna show a video, you'll see it, but Dante's been doing awesome work. And then to the right here is Jack Coyle. He's the one who called me up and was like, I'm thinking about Academy and I just want to get some experience here. So I said, heck yeah, come. And he shot photos for the first round game for his school, Hastings High. Um, and those photos went on our Twitter mm -hmm. and a part of his personal brand. He also posted on his social media. Um, here we have Cassidy Hudson. She's from Aurora. Um, she's actually a volleyball player. And so she, they didn't make it to state and she, Tony got a hold of her, our sports writer and said, I want you to come broadcast. She's an academy student and she did four games on Friday um, and did a really great job. So that was really cool. Um, and here are the two students from Grand Island Northwest. I was in contact with Heather Callahan and said, I have students who would love to um, take photos and post right away to our social media. And here they are, it worked out great. And um, the one on the left here, uh, she's a freshman. And so this was her first time doing it. And it was really cool to see her in action and just see her eyes light up and um, get some really good experience. Um, and so just kind of to wrap up all of that, um, this is a quote from Lindsay who came and this was her first time um, shooting at a state event. This is her first year in Academy and is really looking forward to winter events and how she can improve her skills more. Um, and we're really looking forward to having her at state football and state basketball in the future. So um, just kind of another example of how you can involve students with Strive. Um, Academy, we want kids who have a little bit of experience. So when they come, they know what they're doing or can handle a camera or um, do some editing with us. But at your home games, um, letting them take some photos or do some recap videos and work with the editing process is all something you can start now. Um, and this is kind of a stepping stone, like we'd love to have them in the future and see what they can do. Um, so I wanna share one of the videos that Ben created. Um, you'll see some of the iPad work I talked about. That was Dante. Um, he had a big part in all of this. And this was kind of the, one of the biggest parts of State Volleyball was producing these videos. And Ben staying up all night to get it done. And Dante. I slept. And Dante. I slept, full disclosure. I, I slept, and when you see the Instagram story from 4.30 a.m., no, they had to call me to wake me up so that I could come up there. Instagram story, the fact that the first game was done, and then I went back to the bed. <laughs> okay, let me play it.
So there were six of those to do, and they got a little bit better each time uh, for each game. So it was a lot of fun to be uh, – to have a, a – a, see that firsthand kind of come together. And, and like we said, Ben, ben is – Ben's incredible. You know, I'll, I'll put Ben's stuff up against anybody uh, as far as uh, quality of content. So very lucky to have him. And Dante has been a really cool addition to to the team as well. So um, those are the kind of opportunities, though, that um, we really try to, to foster. And if there's more things we can do and there's more ways we can involve students, then that's what we're that's what that's the goal of Strive. That's the main purpose of Strive is to uh, get students more opportunities. So um, I guess Heather and Tracy are on here. So I guess if you guys have questions, I guess we could uh, throw them in the chat. And then uh, if, if they're not necessarily particularly to a state event, then uh, Tracy, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to the uh, video upload question for you guys. Okay, uh, Tracy, as far as the upload, um, we have had schools get that video integration. First, the first thing to check is that your video is under two gigabytes. Um, if it's over two gig, if you'll get that same error that you're looking at right there. Um, second yeah, thing, they're, they're both under two. They are both under two, okay. Yeah. Um, another question for that then would be, um, once, it goes, once it goes all the way through, are you hitting publish on that once it's done? I don't think we get that far. I think, isn't it upload, processing, and if it's successful, you have the option to publish. When we get that fail, uh, fail to integrate, uh, it doesn't allow us to hit a publish button, I think. Oh, we're on, our connection is on. Can we try that again? Yeah, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so normally, you upload, uh, it goes through the processing, and then you hit publish. Right. In this case, it uploads, it goes through the processing, fails, and does not give us an option to hit publish. It's almost like it's getting stuck in your server, but I don't, I don't know, I don't understand the integration uh, has failed message. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um... How, how recently has been that? Has this been all year or has this been no, 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 a recent? No. Everything's been great. Um, it happened after our last football, last volleyball game. And then I, we didn't touch it for a couple of weeks. I think Tyler might have tried it again. And then we tried it. I tried it again uh, fri Monday, Friday. And it didn't, it didn't go then either. There you go. Okay. Um, I will, I will check with Christian if there's something that we can do on our end. And I also check into cast. Maybe they are, maybe what's happening is they're getting into the cast, but they're not pushing back to your channel. Okay. Um, that would be a possibility. So I will, I, so that helps. I, I got a couple of things I could check on. So I'll try to keep, uh, keep you up to, live, up to date on that. All right. Uh, the other question I have, uh, Heather might be able to answer. Uh, we're trying to figure out how to put an ad rate card together. You know, um, do you have examples of that? Does Heather have something? I was going to try to email some other Strive users. Uh, you know, th there's the, there's so many different options you can have. You know, uh, an in an in show commercial. You could have a halftime thing. You could do between quarters. You can do on screen stuff while you're broadcasting. Uh, I'm just curious with other people how they're how they're modeling their rate card. I I think Heather might be a good one. Uh, Tracy, I know that. Also know that Jeremy Freeze at uh, who's at Seward now and had been at Crete um, had he had a uh, kind of a contract actually written up and it was it was fairly basic as far as I believe it the what it tailed from the school perspective was um, the the client was going to get two two plays a minimum of two plays of the commercial during every broadcast of whatever events there were. Right. Um, and then and that was like a set one time fee for the, for the year is, is the way they did it. Um, but yeah, the way you, you just spelled that out is, yeah, you can have something on the screen all the time. Uh, I can tell you that Carney high, uh, got lucky and they've got a one sponsor, but it's a really big sponsor. Um, so that's, that has worked really well for Carney high. Um, I, I'm sure we can, I know we've got a couple of 
people who could probably get a, a full time like the bag of the valley or whoever uh, sure. will probably jump right all over this. We just mm -hmm. got to figure out a way to charge him. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, that, that's that's always the part too. And you know, that's something if if you want uh, if, if you want to get uh, make sure that the language of it is right. You know, we we have a lawyer that we have on our on our team. John is 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 actually our lawyer too. So if you want to make sure that the wording is just right on it. Um, I'm sure he could take a look at something quick too. I worked, I worked in radio sales for just a little while and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there were certain guarantees you had to make that it would at least start an X, X number of times. Uh, there yep. were options where it had to be a full, a full commercial play before it counted. So there's right. all, these little, there's all these little, you know, detail things. Yeah. Heather, Heather, you got anything? You know, we don't do a lot, uh, with, people pay, paid advertising on ours just for streaming postseason. We had a sponsor. That's kind of our philosophy is we have sponsors that pay our hundred dollar fee postseason and we'll put their logo on our stream. And we've done that. But where do you beyond put, that, we where, really haven't done anything. Where do you put their logo? Just up in the corner? Yep. Yep. And what if you got more than one? You just put one in each corner until you fill it up or what do you do? Yeah, I mean, we just had, it was only $100, so we just had the same one for both weeks when we did postseason football. But you could do commercials or things like that. We've just never, we sell a lot of ads for yearbook, and then we also have big screens in our gym and right outside by our concession stand that we have a lot of people pay for advertising for that. And so we really haven't gone down the road of paying on our stream at this time. I, I mean, I have had somebody ask me about it, like, how does that work? And I've just noted it as something that if we go down that road, it would be the, they would be the first people I would reach out to. Yeah. I think we want to uh, try and uh, earmark some money. I think we want to buy a couple more pieces of software and maybe another piece of hardware or two. And if we can fund that, we can self fund ourselves. I think that would be the ideal goal. So that's kind of our angle on this thing. Yeah. Get, makes sense. get some polos, get some nice polos kids can wear, you know, <laughs> banners for the radio signs, you know, stuff like that. Absolutely. And we had the only other th logo we had throughout the season, um, one of our local radio stations uh, offer, we didn't have any announcers, any, our student announcers that wanted to announce were actually, you know, on the field or on the court. And so for fall sports, we had a direct feed into our local radio station. And so we had their audio and then our video, our kids doing the video and, and scoreboard or camera work and computer work. And because yep. we had that audio going into our feed and we had that agreement, we put their logo on our stream. Sure. But again, that wasn't like anything they paid for. It was just kind of a caring and sharing agreement, I guess. With convenience for you and them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, so Tracy, as far as logos go, um, there's a feature in Wirecast called an image carousel. Uh -huh. and you can actually load multiple logos and tell it how often to change those. Oh, and, and and you don't have to. It's automatic. And and then it's automatic. And once you once you start it, it just you know like like I think the default is like every seven seconds, and That's it cool. doesn't fade. So if you watch some of the Strive Sports stuff um, on our on our uh, Strive Sports YouTube channel, we've got um, replays from the Mudecus uh, volleyball tournament, yep. and you see that one of our what I call it the splash screen. Uh, that's got kind of a frame around the outside of the video actually has our sponsor logos that rotates in the middle. So every seven seconds, it goes from Midland University to truck center companies to Cornerstone Bank. And then I think a Mudecus thing and then back to um, uh, back to Midland or whatever. Um, how's that, how's that it label? Was, yeah. What's it, called? Um, it was the Mudecus volleyball the tournament. No, the actual uh, app. Oh, the, um, image carousel, and it's carousel. it's it's one of the uh, one of the things you can add to a layer in yeah. Mark. Yeah, we've already used the banner a couple times. That's pretty slick. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, that's all I got. Cool. <laughs> yeah, let us know on that upload stuff. It's it's not time critical right now because we're kind of past that date of relevance for that for those events. Sure. Um, plus, Pierce beat the crap out of us. Um, uh, but you know, with basketball coming up, we're we're definitely going to want to get on top we'll of try that. To, try to get that as best we can. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll I'll let you know on that stuff. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Heather, any questions from you? No, I think I'm good. Cool. Great. All right. Send us more kids for state basketball. I hope so. 
Yeah, we have um, Haley Price, who is a design student in Academy, will be joining us at football. So oh, yeah, yeah. Really looking sure. forward to that. Yeah, I talked to her the other day. She was talking about that. Cool. cool. We need to send out. Yeah, details are coming soon. Um, well, yeah, I guess if there's any questions about how you can spotlight students on social media at your state events or how you can do more for your own home, volleyball, basketball, football games, um, just shoot us an email, Sarah at Strive, Eric at Strive dot tv not com someone asked me that the other day dot so TV. <laughs> dot tv um but other than that yeah we're going to be doing this more often as we do more events throughout the year so cool all right all right thanks thanks guys